Hello there, this is uh, Ben, AI6YR, and I am uh, standing on top of a hill um, above my house at 9 o'clock at night to demonstrate, uh, potentially, a contact on the International Space Station's repeater. And so uh, what I've got here is a setup uh, that is what I used earlier today to make a contact. And uh, for those who are not familiar with the uh, ISS repeater, uh, recently a new radio uh, which has a repeater in it was installed on the International Space Station and it allows amateur radio operators like myself to make contacts. And so um, uh, what I've got here is I've got uh, a setup which allows me to steer and follow the ISS and uh, we'll record that in a little bit. Um, and it's got a 440 antenna over there on that side and it's got a 2 meter antenna on this side and the 440 is for receive and the 2 meter is for transmit and uh, along with that I've got two radios uh, one is for receive I've got a uh, Yesu FT60 uh, which I am receiving on 440 and I've got a Baofeng UV5R which I'm using for transmit and uh, the International Space Station's uh, receive frequency which you have to adjust is centered at uh, one uh, four sorry 437.800 and you actually have to adjust it uh, for Doppler shift and Doppler shift is when something's moving very fast around the earth like the International Space Station it actually shifts the frequency of the signal that's coming at you so you need to receive to successfully receive the ISS you have to shift your frequency and on the other side for transmit uh, it is 145.990 with a tone of 67, uh, which is not shifted. So it's okay to just use that uh, straight as is, as the ISS is passing. So um, what happens here is we are going to, in about, uh, about uh, 20, 25 minutes, um, point this in, uh, in the north northwest uh, direction. There's a pass of the ISS that's going to go from, uh, let's see if I, I'm not sure if you can see it, it's going to go from the northwest all the way to the southeast, somewhere in that direction. And I'm hoping, because I'm standing on top of the hill, I can get the whole thing. It's going to be at about 45 degree angle from uh, the ground uh, at the peak. So uh, I will probably uh, aim and change that a little bit. But uh, the hope is that you can also see it as it goes over. Uh, it's supposed to be a visible pass. So that is the plan and we'll see if uh, we can transmit and receive. Uh, I know that we can receive for sure but uh, see if we can uh, hear folks uh, and make contacts as it goes all the way from Northern California is kind of the upper reaches. We may be able to hear Canada all the way to somewhere in Mexico. So maybe I'll get an international contact. Uh, we shall see. Uh, in about 25 minutes. So uh, I will continue from there. So in theory, the ISS should be a visible path. So I should be able to just point this antenna structure at the ISS as it goes over the sky. So I didn't use any software or anything like that to track it. You can actually get uh, apps that will show you exactly where the ISS is in the sky, for example, during the middle of the day. But I will be tracking it uh, just by eye or hopefully just pointing it in the right direction uh, generally. Uh, I kind of know what the path is and uh, you can tune it by the strength of the signal. So hopefully it'll show up pretty soon. So I've currently got it tuned to 437.810, which is higher because with the Doppler shift, the frequency will be higher as the ISS is approaching. Uh, it'll at the midpoint will be 437.800, and as it's uh, uh, going away, then it's going to go toward uh, 437.795 and 790. So that's the that's what the adjustments are for uh, Doppler.
Okay, there it is, somewhere in that direction. Alpha, India 6, Yankee Romeo. Alpha India 6, Yankee Romeo. Alpha India 6, Yankee Romeo, Delta Mike 04. Thank you, Sammy. Three.
like that's it. it looks like uh, got one contact that was rough um, and uh, we'll see well how that came out on the video so that uh, is uh, the ISS repeater and it's obviously uh, very crowded and busy uh, looks like we heard uh, uh, somebody all the way in Mexico so uh, uh, we'll see how that works next time uh, this is AI6 wire